All right, okay. Um, oh, this is a nice one as well. Let me, I, I put this somewhere. This is Imogen and, Imogen and Chris. Where's Imogen and Chris, who came and spoke to me a moment ago? I've written so many blinking notes. Imogen and Chris said they're really made up to, to see you here tonight, but they uh, probably weren't brave enough to stick their hand up and ask you a question. Uh, they wanted to know how bad the wrist injury was, and do you still enjoy riding bikes? Do you still, in, do you still ride bikes privately, and do you still enjoy riding bikes? Um, the, the wrist will never be the same again, unfortunately. Um, I dislocated my, my lunate bone really badly, um, to the point where they, when they opened the wrist up, it, it, it came out of the, of the wrist. It was dislocated that bad. And um, um, unfortunately, I mean, you'll see this, the audience, but that is as much as I can bend it back. So you can imagine the throttle. Do that again. So that's, about, that's as far as you can bend it back. I see, okay, art. Well, that, and that demonstrates where the problem is. Now you understand. Okay, I understand. Um... That's, yeah. <laughs> All the bikers watching will understand. That's made it, let's put it in layman's terms for me tonight. Right, okay. Um, the corner at Magello, um, named after Simoncelli, says one tweet that's just come through now. Um, apparently there's a movement underway to make sure that happens. Yeah, I, I, I think that's just a given. Um, you know, he's an Italian rider, and Magello's the most famous Italian track, and, um, you know, the most famous riders, the most successful riders have corners named after them. I, I would love one, actually, to be fair, but um, uh, um, to, to, to have a corner uh, named after you is like a real pinnacle thing. Carl Fogarty, Dewan, Swans, they've all got... And Dewan, you know, Swans has a, a, a corner named after him at Donington Park, and, um, you know, so it, it's a given. There should be a corner on the, on the best track in Italy, which is Mugello, uh, named after him. Yeah, I think many would agree this evening. Uh, wherever you're watching tonight, then keep your tweets coming into us. You can do it online, um, just underneath the panel that you've probably got my face on at the moment. Send them through to the studio, and I'll put them in the direction of James and Martin Finnegan, who are on the stage with me right now. Martin, you're based up in the northwest, Manchester, which is an absolutely fantastic place for music. I spent years up in Preston, which I have to... Manchester, I absolutely loved. What You go further north, and it's... I, I mean, I can't, I probably can swear because it's on the internet, but I mean, it's just a joke, isn't it? The likes of Burnley and, and Preston and places like that. But a great, there's no one in from Preston, is there? You're from Burnley, are you? Oh, you're not, right, okay. There's one place, Todmorden, have you ever heard of it? And it's, it's right in the valley at the very bottom. You look at it and even the cows are trying to get up the side. It's absolutely it's grim, that place, it's grim. My mum's actually from Todmorden. <laughs> Sorry, just say that again. No, no. <laughs> Do you know, I really hope you're kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, tell us about the Manchester music scene because um, it's got such a great deal of history and culture there. And in many ways, you know, you're, you're really merging. You're coming through. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're the Rain Band, to be fair, um, when we got together, um, we've never turned our back on the heritage of the city we come from. We're very proud of it. We were lucky enough to release the last single, featuring Rowetta from the Happy Mondays. She sang on the record. And, um, you know, all the promo that we've done for Rise Again, you've had people like Mike Joyce wearing Simoncelli 58 uh, T-shirt. Mike was a drummer in the Smiths. You had Bez yesterday who interviewed us from the Happy Mondays. He was wearing a Simoncelli 58. And in a similar way, we talked before about the biking community and standing together. Musicians in Manchester genuinely, if the cause is right, they'll stand behind it together. So... You know, as a band, yeah, we are emerging from Manchester. I'm pretty proud to come from there. Um, so, fingers crossed going forward for the future. Uh, that's one of the best things, I think, about um, the Manchester community, where they kind of stand together as one and they support one another. The Simoncelli 58 um, T-shirts, there's a few of them. It, it just, just, a couple, just come to the front a little bit so we can get, we can get a shot of this on, on, on the camera down here. Let's swing this camera, one of the cameras, so we can get a shot of that. Right, OK. Let's talk about Rise Again. We, um, my family are, are massive um, MotoGP fans, and um, as a consequence of um, as a consequence of, of them being fanatics for years, um, they were massive Marco fans. Um, our biggest hometown gig in Manchester in December, we got booked to play the British MotoGP, which we play tomorrow and Saturday with James. Um, and the idea came, I, I'd written the song after Marco had passed away. Um, 
and essentially from there, as soon as we got booked to play the British MotoGP, I just said to my brother-in-law, we're going to play it at Silverstone. And that was, that was just the plan. That was the only idea. And two weeks later, he came to me with a newspaper article which said Paolo Simoncelli, Marco's father, was setting up the foundation. And he said, you've got to contact them. You know, even if it's just to say, we're going to play a song for your son at Silverstone. And when we contacted them, I spoke to Kate, Marco's fiance. And um, she invited us out to Italy. We played the song to Paolo and Kate. And uh, they loved the song. And they're looking for a soundtrack for the foundation going forward. I came back and my brother-in-law said, there's a piano in that song and you don't have a piano player in the rain band. Steve, our drummer, plays a little bit of piano, so it had a piano rift. He said, there's one man you need to contact. Who's that? I said, James Toesland. So, so from that point, by sheer coincidence, because it's like getting older the David Beckham of the biking community, effectively. <laughs> um, I managed to get older, James, and, and seriously, everybody, I only needed to say one thing. The song is for Marco Simoncelli. He didn't need to hear the song. He just said yes straight away. And that's a sign of a true champion for me. Yeah. And I saw the video on YouTube that was uploaded onto YouTube, and it's quite... It's funny because very often the, the, the images kind of complement the song, and the, and the video is, is really powerful. In fact, actually, it's well worth uh, people who are online this evening having a look at that. Yeah. We, we did the video across in Corriano, um, Marco's hometown, and um, the footage was given by the family because the family wanted um, the world to see Marco as a, as a son, as a fiancé and as a rider, as the world knew him. And um, they offered up that footage, which was pretty amazing, really. And um, Severe Media, who did the, the actual video, did, it, did, I think, a really great job um, of doing it. At the time we were doing the video, James was in a studio in Manchester putting the piano down. And um, it all came together very, very quickly. But I've got to say, hand on heart, we couldn't have asked for a better person to be involved with this project, because James given up a massive amount of time you know, flown in today, he's going to be co-presenting with the BBC this weekend. And um, genuinely, as from the Rain Band and from the Foundation, genuinely, it's amazing to have him on board. Um, we have put online um, on our wall um, at Epic uh, Studios, sorry, at Epic Norwich, forgive me, the link if you want to go through to YouTube and watch that video. So that's well worth doing. And we've done it on Twitter, but it's on all our all our social media networks. So if you want to have a look at that video, then we've linked through from all the platforms this evening um, for you. One thing I just picked up on from what Martin said, how do you feel about being called the, um, the David Beckham of the, the motorsport world? <laughs> it's been really complimentary. I think, it's my, I think I'm paying for the drinks tonight. Um, like you said, he called me, um, Martin called and, and, and said they've got this project um, to, to write a song for, for, for Marco. And, um, uh, it was, you know, it, it was a given before I even heard the track, really. Um, but what was really nice, I'd not heard of the Rain Band before. I've been introduced to them and their music. Um, they're, they're an up-and-coming band. Um, and, you know, I'm going to be in a similar situation to myself, hopefully soon, with, with, a, with an album coming out. And uh, um, it's not easy um, to get noticed. There's a lot of people doing it. Um, uh, and, and this band is, is definitely going places. And um, so also to respect the song that they'd done for it so much um, added to it because as soon as I said yes and then they said we'll send the tracks through and then uh, once I put the phone down I was like oh god I hope this track's good you know um, um, and it was you know um, and then to put the piano down and then I went down to this uh, recording studio and I thought it was just going to be a couple of hours get the piano I'd, I'd gone through it at home get the piano done and then go and I had to, I had to go somewhere else straight afterwards but there was a, a producer, one of his producers I in the thing. Um, and once I put the piano down, four or five different versions of it, then he wanted me, he took the lid off the piano, and he wanted me to pluck the strings of the piano with a plectrum to get that sound as well on the track. So I, I, am no, I mean, I'm no guitarist at all. And I've got this plectrum in my fingers thinking, what the hell do you do with that? You know, usually I get stuff out of my teeth with this, never mind, you know. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I, so I, we did this and, and the whole thing, but it was so worth it in the end. But um, because of what it's for, 
you know, nothing would have been a problem. And uh, it comes through in the track that we've done, and uh, everybody's really proud of it. And we, 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 I mean, it's great to come here tonight at Epic to, to, to perform it here for the first time. But what we're really looking forward to is to playing it in front of the fans in, in Silverstone, because that's, that's, that's who supported him. And um, to, to perform the song for him in front of those people is going to be really special.